Of course, the Amias Life was sent to me by Amias for review, but that does not change how I feel about the product. That does not change my opinion about the product. I am looking at the product from a face value of what it's worth and what you're getting. This is an honest review. Let's get on with the video. Hello everyone, what's going on? It's Andrew Orstall HQ here, and today we are taking a look at the Amias Life Bluetooth speaker. So this is a uh, $60 to $90 speaker, depending on the uh, actual store you buy it from on Amazon. The one I got from was $90. Thanks to Amias for sending that out to me, of course. Uh, this is the Amias Life with a 30 watt power. Yeah, it's just uh, just a Bluetooth speaker. A really nice Bluetooth speaker. If you take a look at what's inside of this thing, uh, obviously the speaker's already out, but we have the foam inside to hold it. We have your toll-free Amias, your guarantee. You have your charging cable, of course, and power brick. And then you have your instructions along with the packaging, which is some foam to keep it sturdy, and then a little bit of some plastic covering there. Here we have the actual Amias Life itself. And let me tell you, I love this speaker. I really, really do. I only have one issue with it, and I'll tell you what that is a little bit later. But first, let's take a look at the build of this thing. So, it is built pretty sturdily. Um, it has a bamboo wood front, and it's real wood. You can actually tell it's real wood more than just a skin covering some plastic, because if you look around the edges here, you can see there's actual wood fray. Just a little bit of it from where they cut for it to fit. And it is a really gorgeous looking speaker. It definitely has a $90 build quality to it. It also has this um, canvas type top, which feels very nice. The buttons are raised around the back. We also have more wood. And then we have our ports, which is this is a perfect segue. Here are the ports. <laughs> we have uh, your USB out. This is for charging something. Uh, like plugging, you can plug your uh, phone charger in here and connect it to your phone and it'll charge right off the external battery in this guy. This is your charger for the actual battery and then your headphone jack. On the bottom, we have two rubber feet, so obviously it'll stay sturdy and a little bit of a seam there from the material being wrapped around. We have uh, some very pliable rubber back here. It does make it a bit hard to grab the speaker because I feel like I'm pushing this in and it's not good to push that in. Um, but yeah, it's a gorgeous looking speaker. It looks, it looks pro, it looks modern, it, I really, really like it. Um, let's take a look at the buttons, of course. So, here we have power, we have a Bluetooth, which is also our play and pause button if you just tap it. Hold it for Bluetooth, for pairing and unpairing, tapping it for your play pause. Volume up and down, slash next track, last track. We have our EQ settings. So this will give you three different settings, three different settings, a normal like mix, you have a treble and a bass. They call this different things, um, they're like party and like classical. The easiest way to tell you, boosting treble, boosting bass, mix of both slash normal sound. Then we have our lights here. So let's go ahead and turn it on, get some funky sound effects. does take a bit to connect to my phone this is bluetooth like 4.0 or like whatever it's very very new bluetooth technology so the um the range on this guy is actually 50 feet or something it's more than the normal 33 it's like 52 or 53 feet so you get extra distance with this guy which i think is very cool um you can also i should mention this right now you can also pair multiple of these uh i think it's two of them at most uh, to get you a more fulfilling experience, or if you want to have it in multiple rooms, this can do that. Okay, I have my phone right here with my Apple Music Library up, um, and we can kind of play a little bit of this, and I can show you kind of what the different EQ, EQ settings are like, and just kind of what um, how, how it really sounds. Something I, I like to listen to a lot as a good gauge is Panic at the Disco, which is <laughs> my favorite band right now. So, um, a good song we can use is, uh, Say I'm on Saturday Night. I'll use small clips of this because of copyright issues. So I will play, um, the different EQ settings for you for this song. Okay. So we're looking at a little over half, nope, a little under half volume right now. 
and it takes a while slash sometimes it doesn't change volume when you go up or down on your phone it is right now i've had issues with it before um so this is half volume it's decent it's good for one person listening at half volume this thing does get very very loud i can't really do that right now because of the time of night but it gets very very loud it can easily fill a room and fill a house it is very loud and sounds very good this is the normal eq okay so we're gonna turn it to i believe next is bass eq you kind of lose the instruments a bit it's bass boosted you'll be able to, you'll be able to hear the bass a lot more if you had this up louder but again that's not really an option for me because of my filming space and etc and we can turn it to trouble it becomes slightly more tinny because you're focusing on the treble um but it's his voice is much clearer and the instruments are much much clearer there's just little to no bass it's it just much more full rich sound in the normal section that's why i really like it now one thing i will say that the treble is good for is older music i found so i don't have a lot of older music but i do have my frankie boy here here we go here's some sinatra so here is just the normal sound of i've got you under my skin by frank sinatra under my skin and here's the treble version a part of me. I personally really, really, really like this, um, and it sounds personally to me way better if you're doing it in the treble boosted mode. You hear his voice much more clear, you hear the instruments much more clear, and because it's older music, it wasn't mastered for bass, um, and it really fits this style of music much better. I'll press the uh, amazing Bluetooth button to pause. <laughs> um, yeah, so you have this blue light, obviously, when you're pairing, it blinks, or when you're paired, it blinks blue and red when you're pairing. I don't really know what this other light's for, I've never, never used that. I looked it up in the manual. The second LED right here is your charging status, or, you know, it starts blinking red if you need to charge, because you're low on battery, and then it changes, so on and so forth, as you charge it. Not surprising there. Okay, um, beyond that... I don't know what else to say about this, um, this speaker. I just, I thoroughly enjoy it. The different EQ settings is a blast. It's nice to mess around with songs. I mean, this isn't a traveling speaker. This is a nice home speaker. I think if you have a, a, a decked out wooden kitchen or an office, this would fit very, very, very well. It's cool. It looks good. It sounds good. And it, it just, it works. You know, it's it's a $90, 60 to $90 speaker, and I, I do recommend it. But my one issue, my one issue, and this is a constant issue I have with any Bluetooth device, is when this is paired to my phone, I like to watch YouTube videos, as you know. It does not sync the audio video from your phone. This is definitely just meant for a music listening environment and not really music videos, not really videos in general, because it just doesn't sync. Um, sound effects are delayed because it's like a half second delay. It fluctuates. Sometimes there's no delay and sometimes there is a delay. I don't know if it's the type of uh, Bluetooth chip they're using in this, but it simply is not consistent. I simply cannot recommend this as a video watching experience. Um, it is definitely a music experience only because of that sync issue. It's about half a second to a second off. It does fluctuate, but it sounds it sounds good for music, and that's that's really what you're here for. This is a good music listening experience, and I, I do recommend it. Of course, the links to the Almayas Life will be in the description below. Um, go ahead and check it out. Support Almayas. I they've been supporting me quite a bit, sending me products to review, um, and they do make really good stuff. I do recommend their things. Okay. That's it for this video. Go ahead and like the video if you liked it. Favorite the video is favorite. Don't forget to share the video. Subscribe for more. And of course, I will see you all later. Take care.